Nice to see you again. Let's start this off. Okay, here we go. Welcome to the last in the series for this fall meditation 2022 called Our Inner Journey. It's wonderful to see you again. So take that deep breath in and out and smile, as Thich Nhat Khan says. And I hope you've been enjoying some activities on your own or enjoying them with us in the village in Howard, where we're aging better together. Checking out some volunteer work or committee work, or walking, listening to poetry or music or lectures. And again, this is the last in our series uh, this fall in the village in Howard. Today, we're going to do a healing meditation uh, by Trishna Patnok. We'll hear music again from Velma Fry, Let It Go and Move On. Danny writes, Everlasting Love and Silence. So, you know, we're trying to search for things to be grateful for. And you do know that your brain will constantly rewire itself to suit the information that you feed into it. So if you are constantly complaining and finding excuses, et cetera, it will make it easier to find things to be upset about, regardless of what is happening around you. Likewise, if you constantly search for opportunities, abundance, love, and things to be grateful for, it'll make it much easier to find a reflection of those things around you. It does take practice, but over time, this is a very powerful way to reshape your reality. And I love this little boy. You know, he does not know that this is a statue. He does not know how much it weighs, but only saw that it needs help. Look at the world with the heart of a child and life will become more beautiful. Today, we're going to hear Danny Wright's music. He can, is sometimes called the healer of hearts. He's an American pianist who was classically trained and has sold over 11 million albums. He's considered part of the new age music, started out around 1986, and uh, has 44 piano out music albums. He did start playing music, the theme for Dr. Shivago at four, which is kind of a fun fact. So our joke of the day, one minute you're young, hip and carefree, next minute, you're photographing vegetables in your garden. So now what is emotional healing? It's the ability to take proper control of pain, of thoughts, feelings, and emotions so that they do not interfere with the present moment. what is the purpose of emotional hearing, but to teach us life lessons of coping and adjustment. The healing creates an awareness towards emotional reaction, helping us express our feelings in the proper way so that we can have an ability to manage stress. It gives us a purpose and meaning in life and makes the connection well with others focusing on the good things in life. So we want to be healed, right? What are the signs of emotional pain? Well, we go through anger, right? And mood swings, insomnia, insecurity. We don't have good self-esteem. We hold grudges, maybe. We have a difficulty in forgiving others and there's a lack of communication.
And then there are the stages of emotional healing. You first go through suffering. Then there's an awareness and confrontation with what's going on and you express yourself and then express it. Kind of the grief cycle. You learn to acknowledge all those emotions without being judgmental. And it can make emotional healing a, a holistic process. So that's kind of the stages of healing. So what are the signs that you are healed? Think about it for a second. Might they be your sleeping well or you're no longer feeling lonely or depressed and you have some positive and calm thoughts you can feel again your emotions you can embrace the past and it's okay you can enjoy life and not talk about suffering and you focus on developing new skills so that's when you feel like you've come to be healed some of us are at all different stages of that right now, right? So Chief Jan George says, let us be healed. May the stars carry your sadness away. May, may the flowers fill your heart with beauty. May hope forever wipe away your tears. And above all, may silence make you strong. And the theme that we've been having, silence, stillness, thinking, healing, let us begin our time of reflection. Oh, great spirit, is a Cherokee's prayer. Help me always to speak the truth quietly, to listen with an open mind when others speak, and again, to remember that peace may be found in silence. So settle comfortably into a comfortable position. Being aware that we're going to hear music again from Belma Fry, who just turned 100, passed away, and her song will be Let It Go and Move On. She's a composer and a, a recording artist, performer. She had, got her music degree from Florida State, taught piano, and she led singing circles. She was married and had two children, and she sings songs in a book called Seven Sacred Pauses. It comes with a CD. I highly, highly recommend that book. So release your shoulders away from your ears and clench that jaw and drop that tongue from the roof of your mouth. And let's listen to Velma Fry, letting it go and moving on. With all that has been, take lessons, take lessons and be grateful. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go and move, move on, move on. With all that has been, take lessons, take lessons and be grateful. Let go, let go. Let go, let go and move, let go, move on, let go, move on, move on, move on. with all, with all, with all, with all, been, take lessons and take lessons and be grateful, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go and move, let go, move on, let go, move on. Take lessons and be great. Take lessons and be great. 
So as you begin to settle into your seat, try to connect your body with the sensation of gravity. Notice the points of contact with your chair or points of contact with the cushion, feeling yourself sitting here breathing, observing the body as a field of sensations, gently rising and falling with each breath, expanding and contracting gently and naturally. Feel the breath coming in and out. Notice how effortlessly the air comes and goes. The body knows exactly what it needs. Now, take a moment to call to mind your intention for sitting here today. What is your intention for practicing right now? Try to land on a simple word or phrase that names this intention and sit with it for a moment. As you reflect, notice what's connecting you to a sense of Sincerity, what feels most honest for you right now? Is it a wish to be more present in your day-to-day -day moments? Is it a want to connect with yourself or someone dear to you? Is it a desire to heal? What is the longing that brings you here? Whatever comes to mind, allow it to be held with tender reverence. One way to think of this meditation is a process of learning to let go over and over again. In the words of one great Tibetan master yogi, Tilopa, let go of what has passed. Relax right now and rest. Let go of what may come. Let go of what is happening now. Do not try to figure anything out. And don't, don't try to make anything happen. Relax right now and rest. Rest your attention wherever you feel the breath most vividly and simply can be. Become aware of the flow of air coming in and out. And as you breathe in, notice if there is tension in your body or mind, any holding or grasping. And as you breathe out, silently say to yourself, let go. Allow the exhale to release whatever it is you are holding. Thoughts sensations, emotions. Keep letting it all go. There is no need to hold on to anything right now. Moment to moment, breath to breath, allow your awareness to relax into presence. As your attention settles and becomes more stable, your posture too will feel more grounded, rooted and mountain-like. It's your connection to the present moment that's becoming more steady.
As your awareness becomes more steady, it can also feel more fluid, more at ease. Rather than exerting effort, allow yourself to sink, to flow, to relax into a sense of inner stability. Sit like a mountain. Clouds and weather may come and go, but the mountain remains steady. And as your awareness continues to settle, see if you notice your attention becoming more clear and vivid, more spacious. Sitting like a mountain, allow your awareness to open up, become more panoramic, taking in the mind like a vast, clear sky, watching all the weather patterns pass by. Objects of your experience, thoughts, sensations, emotions, sounds, are all like the clouds appearing and disappearing in the sky. No matter what comes, the mountains remain steady. All these different weather patterns arise and pass, maybe sunny and calm or stormy and dark, maybe windy or fog or rain. No matter what comes, continue to sit like a mountain, watching the weather come and go. No matter what comes, the mountain remains steady. As you watch the objects, thoughts and sensations of your experiences come and go like the clouds in the sky and see if you can notice yourself resisting or grasping. Are you wanting things to be other than what they are? Notice what it is you are resisting or grasping and letting, keep letting go. Relax. Relax into the stability of the mountain and open spaciousness of the sky. A rain cloud is a rain cloud, whether you like it or not. Anger, confusion, doubt, fear, happiness, joy, boredom. They are all types of weather appearing and disappearing in the vast sky like nature of the mind. There's no need to resist. Remain rooted in your posture, in the feeling of the body sitting and breathing. And what comes? Like another cloud in the sky. And what about now? What is your mind noticing? And can you observe while remaining curious and open and then let it go? There's no need to resist. Let it come, let it be, let it go. Sitting like a mountain, let it all rise and pass in the open sky of awareness. No matter what comes, the mountain remains steady. In the final moment, drop all effort and let the mind completely rest and let whatever is happening in the mind happen. Let it go without any resistance. Relax and let it go. And let's listen to Danny Wright's Everlasting Love.
Let us be healed. Be still. Be peaceful and tranquil. Be serene. Be calm. Be gentle. Take a full breath in and a long, deep breath out. Let's be in our silence.
gently. Start moving your body a little, bringing your attention to your fingers. Start moving them slowly, body part by body. Let us heal. Take a deep breath in and out and smile. Being positive doesn't mean you don't ever have negative thoughts. It just means you don't let those thoughts control your life. And Black Elk speaks, says, and while I stood there, I saw more than I can tell, and they understood more than I saw. For I was seeing in a sacred manner the shapes of things in the spirit and the shapes of all shapes as they must live together like one being. So thanks for sharing in this space of reflection for this inner journey meditation in our last of this session of healing. Namaste. Let your inner journey continue. Breathe in for yourself, breathe out for the world. Breathe in compassion, breathe out joy. Take a full breath in, long deep breath out. Namaste. Thank you for being part of this series. See you again sometime.